Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Rubin of Naturopathic Specialists, a naturopathic medical facility in Scottsdale, Arizona. If you're watching this video, it's because you have been prescribed a medicine called Viscum. Viscum is made from the mistletoe plant. This is a bottle of Viscum abietes, or Viscosan, or Viscum A, series one. This is a beginning dose. Mistletoe is one of the most well-studied integrative oncology therapies on the planet. This is a box, and I will show you the contents here, because we are going to teach you what to expect for self-injection. Viscum therapy is both complementary to conventional treatment plans in oncology, whether it be radiation or chemotherapy or biologicals, but it also stimulates the immune system. So not only can it stimulate the immune system and help reduce side effects from conventional therapies, but there are certain molecules in the mistletoe plant that have direct anti-cancer effects as well. And like I said, it is very well studied. In this box, or I should say in each box of Viscum, and again, this is Viscum A, or abietes, which is from the fir tree. This is called series one, which is how this is labeled. There are two other types of viscum. There is viscum molly, which is from the apple tree, and then there's viscum peony, which is from the pine tree. Your doctor will decide which one is important for you and which one is appropriate. Most people start out and receive viscum A. This particular product is produced in the United States by Uriel Pharmacy. In other parts of the world, as in Canada or Europe, it goes, this preparation goes under the name Helixer. It also may be called Viscosan, but in the United States, it's Viscum Abietes, Viscum Mali, or Viscum Pini. Very important to know that it's the same quality controlled raw materials. It's just a different name in this part of the world. Each box contains seven ampules. This is each box of series one, each box of series two, or each box of series four. We will not be using series three. Series one contains the lowest amount of medicine in each ampule compared to series two and compare, compared to series four. Each time you increase the number in your series, you increase the amount of medicine in each ampule. Your doctor will prescribe this for you as appropriate. Series one always begins with three ampules, which are one milligram. One, two, three. There are also three ampules of five milligrams. And then there is one ampule of 10 milligrams. That is what constitutes a series one pack. You always begin with ampule one, which is one milligram. That's the first injection. This injection will be used in the clinic and it will be the injection that each person starts with. Injections two and three, which will be given based on a schedule that you will be given, are the next two injections. So injections one, two, and three are all one milligram. The third injection, the fourth injection, and the fifth injection, sorry, the fourth, fifth, and sixth injection are all five milligrams. The seventh injection is a 10 milligram. Using a graduated dosage like this is to determine if you're going to have a reaction to the medicine noting that a reaction is desirable. And a reaction can be a flu-like symptom. It could be an increase in your body temperature, or it could be a local reaction, such as a red mark at the injection site, which may be a little swollen, it may be a tiny bit painful, or it may be red. In general, these are desired reactions, and these are all outlined for you in the instruction manual that we'll be giving you. But this is what a series one pack looks like.
Here are the supplies you will need for each injection of viscum preparation. We have the ampule of medicine, we have gauze or a tissue that you can use to protect yourself when you're opening the ampule, we have a 3cc syringe, we have a 19 gauge by 1 half inch filter needle which will be used for filling the syringe only, not for injection. This 30 gauge by 1 half inch needle will be used for injection. We have an alcohol prep pad and we have our sharps container. What I like to do first is open my syringe. I like to open, keeping sterile, my filter needle. Make note that you need to be in a place where it's quiet and you will not be disturbed so you can concentrate on the injection. These are tools that at least at first you are not familiar with so it's very important that you are in a comfortable setting. After I have cleansed my hands and I make sure that my area is clean, I have begun this process. I grab my gauze and I grab my ampule. I open it with a small snap, deposit the glass sharp in the sharps container. I put the ampule down. I grab my 3cc syringe. Make sure that there's nice fluid action. It should not be very tough or resist you. I take my 19 gauge by one and a half inch filter needle for pulling up solution only. I approximate the two and with a twisting motion I affix the needle. I then very carefully and with a single motion pull the needle off, put the cap down and at the appropriate angle being very careful not to poke myself insert the needle to the bottom of the ampule and I pull up the solution. You might need to rotate the needle to get the entirety of the solution. When it's all out, I deposit the sharp in the sharps container. I then will take this needle off and carefully put in the sharps container. I will then take my 30 gauge by half inch needle. I open that, expose the top of the needle. Once again, very carefully and slowly, affix that needle dispose of the garbage. I am then ready for injection. We are now ready for the injection. Our supplies are going to be a sharps container, the pre-filled syringe, an alcohol prep pad, and if you choose to, some gauze for um, after you take the needle out of your skin. The most important thing when starting the injection is to make sure that you do not inject in a radiation field over or into a scar or surgical area, into skin that is inflamed or sore or has an open wound or that is, has a rash on it. Those are contraindications to site choices. We will now take our materials. We select a place and we usually go between one and three inches away from the belly button. My belly button's here and we go up my belt lines here so we will go between one and three inches. It's important to know that since this therapy is generally done thrice weekly that you're going to want to vary your injection positions and we will certainly do this during your training. With my clean hands I open my alcohol prep pad, I select my space, I cleanse the area, I wait for this to dry. While I'm waiting for it to dry, I have taken and I check to make sure that there's no air in this. You can see that right here there's a air level. So I'm going to get that air level out by watching the tip of my needle for what drop to come out. I now know that I have no air in there. And then going to make sure that I have the correct needle positioning and very importantly is to stretch the skin not pinch we stretch and this is a one half inch needle so half of this needle is a quarter inch and we want to make sure that we insert our needle no deeper than half of this or one quarter inch for our injection I select my site and at a 45 degree angle 
I inject. I'm not going to do the injection, but that's needle insertion. I then dispose into the sharps container and the therapy is complete.